What's up sneaker fans, thanks for tuning in to a More Than Hype review. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. More Than Hype is all about bringing you detailed reviews of popular silhouettes as well as shoes that not everybody's talking about. So if that's something you're interested in, subscribe to the channel. Alright, getting into this video now, I can't believe it but it's already been 10 years since Special started at Adidas. Um, over the, the last couple years I've given, or I've been very critical of Adidas, but they do have two sort of bright spots. The first being Adidas Basketball is really bringing out some really interesting designs that are new and innovative and have some really nice tech in them as well. But secondly, and something that's more interesting to me, is the Special line. It's something that is coming from within Adidas. It's not a collaboration and yet they continue and consistently bring us really fresh and unique pieces. I'd say the best way to describe what Special does is taking Adidas heritage models and putting a little twist on them. That's exactly what we have behind me with the Wensley as well as the Whitworth. The Whitworth being built on the Traziad platform and these right here, the Wensley being built on the Samba platform. So um, this is actually not the first time that we're seeing the Wensley. This is, I believe, the first time the Whitworth has been released. The first time we saw these was in the Spring Summer Collection in 2017. For the 10 year anniversary, we're getting them again in this cardboard colorway, which I think looks pretty nice. But if I'm going to be 100% honest, I do prefer that gray colorway a little bit more than this brown one. But with all that said, Special has always been about heritage design, really great quality with a little bit of twist. So with all that said, let's get right into this review, starting with the packaging. As you already saw behind me, the special packaging takes a lot of the same design cues as the shoes, taking something original and giving it a little twist. So we have that same blue box that we always see for originals, uh, Adidas sort of gradient out, as well as special down on the bottom. This being the 10th anniversary, we do also have a sticker here showing the uh, Mod Trefoil logo as well as 2014 and 2024. Uh, which looks pretty cool. We also do get, I guess, a leather little hang tag on the shoes of this same sort of design. I'll show you that in a minute. On this side here, we have In Special We Trust, regular paper. Taking a look at the label, far as sizing goes, I got a size 8, which is the same size I wear in Campus 80s or pretty much any of those silhouettes that Adidas has a year in, which seem to run a half size big. And you can see in pictures, these don't have a lot of padding on the inside of the shoe. Uh, you'll have a lot more space. They don't feel narrow to me. Uh, very medium in width. Length seems a little bit longer because of that lack of padding. So I went with a size eight and these fit perfectly. All right, so now we got that out the way. Let's take a closer look at these, starting with the upper. All right, so we got them out the box. 10 year anniversary of Special, and also the return of the Wensley silhouette. The last time we saw these, like I said, 2017 spring summer collection in a gray colorway, but today we have it in this cardboard and brown colorway, which also looks really nice. Starting with the materials, your underlay is what feels like a nylon type material, definitely a synthetic fabric here on your underlay. Nice little shine to it, which I think contrasts really nicely with this long hairy suede that is your overlay for the majority of your shoe extra long suede here on the toe. I think it, it might be a little bit different. I'm not sure why that is. It looks like the same material, but just a little bit of a longer nap here on these pieces here. Moving on to the medial side, and this is the side that I love the most. Um, the asymmetry here is something that is just so satisfying for me. Um, I always felt like having to put three stripes on shoes was design-wise very restricting because it's not like a design motif like a swoosh where you can do funny things with it it has to be in this sort of orientation here but what about just taking it, taking it off the shoe completely as you can see to me this looks awesome but anyway more of that hairy suede on this side back tab you have your trail logo just regular not my trail logo which i think is an interesting touch adidas there just printed on smooth leather um, your tongue is a nylon material or synthetic again, very lightly padded, and this is where we see our Mod Trefo logo as well as our regular Trefo logo. Made for Special in probably three font 
underneath there. These come stock with flat white laces, but you do get a bunch of accessories with these, or a couple. You already saw it, but you do get this leather hang tag, which says Herzlichen Glockwunsch. That is not how it's pronounced, but I googled it, and that does mean congratulations in German. So again, congratulations to the Spezial team. Keep it Spezial. The boss there on the bottom, mod logo as well as the regular Trefo logo underneath. Nice little touch here, could be a keychain to something that you keep in your box, whatever you want to do. But you know, I like the extra thought that they put into it. You also do get uh, brown colored laces here, shoelaces if you didn't know, on the little piece of paper. And uh, actually, I do like the white more than this. Maybe if this was this lighter hue, I would switch them, but I think I'm going to keep them on the white. Looking on the inside of the shoe now, we do get another sort of note to that 10 year anniversary, uh, 1024 and 1014. This is America, and we have the month before the year, so that's how I read it. But again, just that on the inside of the shoe to denote the 10 year anniversary of these. Another thing about Special is they always have very interesting sock liners or what they'll call footbeds. And this year, this is the design on the sock liner. That about covers the upper. Now moving on to the midsole outsole, which really isn't a midsole on these, more of just a cup sole here. Uh, and it is the very familiar and popular Samba outsole here. So it is your regular Samba outsole in this dark gum color, which I think complements very nicely this uh, cardboard colored upper here. Nothing really to say about this. It is a very standard cup sole that especially now because of the popularity of the Samba a lot of people will already know. And there you have it. That is my review of the Wensley Special. Just want to start by saying again congratulations to the team for 10 years of really consistently bringing out really interesting and different designs. I think that's the most important part. On the Wensley Special specifically, what I really love is that hairy suede. I think that is really nicely complemented with this mess material underneath which does have that sort of sheen to it. On the medial side, I really love the look of the sort of lack of a three stripes on this side. The extra suede also looks really cool. And I do really like that sort of mud guard that runs underneath uh, the three stripes that goes around the whole entire shoe. Like I said, um, a really solid pickup, really great quality. If you're just looking for something that is a little bit different from a Samba, but looks or is the same shape silhouette as a Samba, same isn't the right word. Similar would be better. Similar shape to the Samba than the Wensley might be something right up your alley. So. I believe these are still available in most sizes on the confirmed app so check that out I'll also leave a link in the description if you have any questions hit me up in the comments below thanks for watching like the video if you found it helpful subscribe to the channel for more sneaker content and I'll catch you on the next video